can't trust Obama. I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. No, ma he's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with. We are back with Senator John McCain. You know, Senator, that it resonated and still resonates. Uh, it was such an unusual thing to do during that time. Many people in your own party were not standing the, by the fact that Obama was wh who he was, that he was not born in Kenya, and that whole birth of nonsense. You stood up to that. To that. Uh, why are you so different from everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, could I just say thank you for having me on, on which I should have said earlier. Thank you for your kindness to my daughter. And <laughs> thank welcome. you for the continued success that, that you all continue to have. And I'm honored to be on. I think the important thing about the dialogue in America today is it's lost respect for the views of our, those who disagree. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when someone says he's a Muslim and he wasn't born in, a, in America, you can't let that go. Mm -hmm. You, you uh -huh. just got to do what's, what's right. And but it was let go, and that was the beginning of fake news. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You're yeah. exactly, yeah. you're, you're exactly <laughs> right, which, as you know, is a huge problem now. Every mm -hmm. time we turn around, we find out about some more interference or attempt to interfere with our election. Mm -hmm. That's why I said what I said the other day, and that's why President Bush said what he had to say, and that's why President Obama yeah. had to say what he had to say. This has got to stop. Mm -hmm. We've got to be respectful of one another's views. Yeah. And, and have a dialogue that's based on truth and not on allegations and... Well, lies. And personal attacks. Yeah. will be the personal attacks of what bothers you. Because I go to schools and I encourage young people to be involved in public office and public service, we all do, particularly with all the thing, disasters and things that are going on in the world, but also to be leaders. Yeah. So if they're going to be attacked and maligned and their families attacked, then it's hard to motivate them to do so. And by the way, this show is exciting, it's fun, but it's also respectful. So thank yes. you for that. Thank you. Thank you. We hear you are writing a memoir. Yes. Um, and it's called The Restless Wave. And apparently we can all read it in April, but can you give us just a sneak peek? Mm, it's about a, a young man who was unfocused and rebellious and almost got thrown out of the Naval Academy on numerous <laughs> occasions. <laughs> who was who was, able, who was able then to form, <laughs> form his life to one of service, filled with mistakes, filled with errors, filled with uh, actions that I would not want to take again. For example, a flag down in the standing over the state capitol in South Carolina, which I ducked. And so, Confederate flag. Confederate, Confederate flag. yeah, Confederate mm -hmm. flag. Filled with errors, filled with problems, filled with mistakes, but at the end of the day, at least trying to serve. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Senator, for me, uh, for me, that clip is one of not only your finest moments, but it's a, it's a moment we've quoted so many times here yeah. about staying within the conversation because one of the problems we're seeing now is people aren't winning arguments. They're just opting out through negative and fake, informa fake information. Uh, what do you want people to remember about you? Because that's a moment I think none of us can forget. Mm -hmm. He served his country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, he's, and he's proud of his family and his daughter, who is many so times nice. a real pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm normally not this quiet. Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you because it's one of the things we've talked about. We got to have the luxury of spending so much time in Arizona together. You have had such a long career. Do you have any regrets? Have we got a couple hours? <laughs> uh, many, many regrets. But when you're in the arena, 
and you try to do the right thing, so many times you don't do the right thing, mm -hmm. but you learn from it and you try to move on. I will never ever get over the Confederate flag over the state capitol in South Carolina, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll never get over that. Yeah. And so you just got to do better the next time knowing that you have to learn from the things that you have done wrong. And every day I make a mistake, but every day I'm trying to do that for the country and not for John McCain. And many times that's not the case, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say. Mm. <laughs>